Hey guys, Scott from Specialized Dynamics. Uh, this is the rifle, the bolt gun. Uh, we call it the Ace. Uh, this is the gun that I took to North Dakota. Uh, we killed 22 coyotes that weekend. Uh, I want to explain a little bit about the rifle. The reason why we chose the uh, components on it and the price point that we decided to, to put on this rifle. So I'm going to go from uh, the barrel, which is a spade composites barrel. Uh, we offered in four different calibers, 22 250, 22 Creedmoor, 6 Creedmoor, and 243. Um, our production models are only going to be 18 inches long. That's what this one is. Uh, if you look at the, uh, the barrel without the suppressor, this is a Hushworks um, 7.62 titanium suppressor. So this is 18 inch barrel. Um, all of our barrels are carbon fiber. Um, this one is a 22250. Um, going back, uh, we have the MDT LSS Gen 2 XL chassis. Um, it does have M lock slots on it. As you can see, I have my bipod on it, and it is a, uh, has a Picatinny rail to attach my bipod. Um, going further back, uh, we have a trigger um, from Timney Triggers. Uh, we use mostly Timney triggers. You can upgrade to a Trigger Tech Diamond or any other trigger uh, that you would like. But we decided to use Timney triggers, the Elite Hunter, and it is a two pound trigger. That's what our standard comes in. You can get it lighter than that if you'd like. Our action is one of our specialized dynamics actions made by Bighorn Origin. Uh, Bighorn puts our name on them. We had to do a marking variance. Uh, this one. Um, is serial number one. It has a 20 MOA rail on it. Uh, it has several different bolt knobs you could choose. We chose the spiral fluted one. Um, the grips, um, because it's the chassis, you, you need a vertical grip, unless you use a uh, standard AR grip and you have to cut the, the tang back off of it. Um, so we use the vertical grip by Ergo. And then moving further back, we have the Magpul PRS light stock that has adjustability for your cheek and then your length of pull as well. Um, the difference between this one and a Magpul PRS is this one you have to use a Allen wrench to adjust it um, where the PRS has thumb wheels. Um, this one a little bit less cost and that's why we do it to keep the price point down. So the price point on this one is $29.99 uh, right now. Um, we have 22 creep mores and uh, I think we just sold our last 20, 243 inch, um, but we do have 22 creep mores in stock. Um, if you have any questions about optics, suppressors, we're always uh, able to help. Um, as most people know, you can't buy a suppressor unless you buy it from your state or do the paperwork from a uh, dealer from your state. So this is the 22250 ACE. And this is um, a really good rifle, very accurate. I'm getting around quarter inch groups out of this. Uh, I think my best grouping was a 0 .190. Um, I use 60 grain Nosler um, hand loads. And then when I went to North Dakota, I used 50 grain VMAXs, the factory ammo, and I was getting 3480. And out of a 20 inch AR, I was getting 3600. So you're losing about 100 feet per second from a 20 inch to an 18 inch. Um, but most of the times our shots are, are well within 300 yards. So that's why I chose 18 inch barrel. Uh, most of us that are hunting, uh, our average shots are 100, 200 yards. Um, you know, we do get an occasional four, five, 600 yard shot, but uh, it's not very common. So that's the reason why we chose 18 inch barrel. And if you guys have any questions, any comments, we could paint the chassis. Um, you just give me a shout, a phone call, email, whatever's easiest for you. Um, it's scott at sdrifles.com. Thanks for watching and look forward to the next one.